Welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to read the Rumble Society Dark Nocturnal Red Death Edition. Let's get it. And here you go. This is uh, the Red Death version of Dark Nocturnal out of the packaging. And I am very excited that I finally own this figure because I missed out on the first time because I thought he looked too small. Then I saw the reviews and I instantly regret my purchase. Like I do anytime a Mayfix figure drops and I didn't pre-order it. <laughs> He's pretty cool, honestly. I really dig this guy. I love the like spider web pattern on his like costume. And it goes all the way down. And then he's like wearing like track pants, which is pretty funny with the lines. And I love that in the cape, like, in, like inside the cape is all black. It reminds me of uh, Thor's cape from Infinity War and Endgame, which I really love. The, just like the black behind it, like the nice contrast of the like red behind it. It's it's just great. I love the little skull guy in the middle. I love the stretchy material they use for the legs and arms. Very smart to not like limit any movements in the head. This is not the head that was my came with. I will show him later in the accessories part of the video, but this is actually going to dark hair. So I'm gonna test it out and see if it works. Oh my God. What the f yo this oh I wasn't expecting this to look this good like I can see a bright ass day like like in real life but like on video it looks amazing like look at that that looks terrifying Just, look how cool this is bro so I forgot to no say say this but he comes with a little holster with uh, uh he's got like a space gun. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well, so pretty, pretty nicely, and just uh, there's a hole when you plug it in, boom, it's safe, it's tucked in there, that's, it ain't gonna go anywhere. Then I did put some guns in these little small holes, which was pretty easy actually. The hardest thing was actually unbuckling this, two things on top, you just, yeah, it's basically like a real life. Like, um, like you unbuckle it and unbuckle. The cape also is removable, but to do that, you have to uh, just remove the head. Then you just, if you want to, you can, there is this little button here that you can just unlock, then just pull up harshly or very slowly. Then you have this cape that you can do whatever you want with it. I wish it was longer, because this feels like I wish I mean, the bottom was a wired, and like this is this feels like a sh very like small case. This is how he just looks like plain, uh, plain Jane. Then you just put the head back on, back, then bada bing bada boom. So he also has this little watch thing on his wrist, and you can like flip it up, and then there's a little like codes or whatever, some readings that he's getting where the monsters are at so he can go and fight. First thing he comes with, just like every Mesco figure, comes with a stand and the design of this stand is very nice. Just like the, the beginning, like in the opening inside of the packaging, looks very cool. Next he comes with this smoke bomb effect. I guess this happens when you like throw down some of the bombs and it just comes up. Pretty nice design, I like how it's kind of like a skull. Um, it does feel cheap though, if you can hear, like, this is literally the back of it, which I guess I don't blame them. Like, if I'm paying nine, like, almost a hundred bucks for this figure, I feel like this should be, like, better quality. So this is the set of hands he does come with, like, a slew of grabbing and trigger finger hands and some splayed out hands, and a very special Adam Cole Bebe, like, just left hand, which is <laughs> pretty cool, but... Next thing he comes with is this uh, cool like katana sword, whatever it's called, probably just a katana that he comes with, and then you can like unleash it. And then once you unleash it, it's a very pretty green. Next up, he comes with what I can say it's a sh shotgun, but it's smaller, so I, I'm guessing it's a sort of shotgun. I'm not, I don't know anything about guns. Uh, this is. The only knowledge I know from like to other toys and movies 
and that, that's what I think this is. I, honestly, to me, it looks like a gun that a private would use. Next up, it comes with this like old school 19, like 40s, 50s, like machine gun. Next, you go like with every mask that comes with the gun, it comes with bullet effects, and it comes with three of these. Wait, actually, four of these like pumpkin skull bomb things, which look really cool. Next, it comes with this like 19th century mask. I think it's called the Plague Doctor. Like, what, what they what, what this is what they would wear. Well, if you're a wrestling fan, this is what Marty Skrull used to wear to the ring. These like really nice, like red, like eyes, which is very nice. And you can put on the head. So let me see if I pick like this head, and I just it is kind of hard, tough to put it in. But if you're slow and easy, it does fit, as you can see. And then, yeah, very nice. And and this is what he looks like with the mask on. And again, this looks very cool and a very different design for your mask coat. You know, it makes him look like a bird man. And this is uh, the regular white skull face he comes with, which is the, this is like, when you open the figure, this is what he, it's on the box and i i don't really like it i feel like it looks too i don't know if it, it looks like a regular like skull which and i like because duck the original one with the green paint looks a lot more like original and like a like a new character this kind of looks like just a skeleton and a costume which is a very cool design and i do like the head but it's not it's it's not my favorite but. And one more thing he comes with is these two grappling guns. I, I think they are grappling guns. Um, one is just like his regular grappling gun that he just holds. And, and the other one is like the one with the string. And this it's a actual bendy wire like thing. So you can make it into like really any shape that you want. You can like stretch it out or make it think it's like all tied up. As you can see, you can basically do whatever you want with this which is very cool this is probably my favorite accessory out of the whole like box <laughs> actually but i think it comes with is indeed this harness with these two pistols inside and again this harness is very cool and if you want it just it does uh buckle in pretty easily and it does change the look of your dr tunnel by a lot actually time for the articulation so he can move his head about that far up and then he can put his head about that far down then he can put his arms up all the way that high then he can only hinge until right there he does have some bicep swivel and then his hands move of course and then he he does have double the knees can almost kick his own butt and then he can bring his knees up and then he does have some for articulation but it's not that good at all he can crouch uh, this far forwards then he can go about that far back status comparison time this is how the dark nocturne looks like with the agent gomez here's how he looks like against the 112 moon knight also from Mexico. here's dark knock against the marvel legends ultron and here's how he scales with the greatest Marvel character of all time, Beta Ray Bill. And that's it. That's my review for the figure. My only real nitpicks with it would be the cape. I do wish it was big and longer. The thing is that I, I do wish she was on a bigger body. Um, I Like, to me, like, I feel like this this is probably Mezco's, like, coolest looking character besides Baron Benz. With the squid helmet, at least. And I, I, I wish he was on a bigger body. I don't know. It's weird to me that he's on this, like, weird skinny body. He feels kind of like a kid, which maybe it's what they're going for. Maybe that he's, like, a regular human that's going out monster hunting. But I'm not going to lie. I do respect them going for the choice to put him on a smaller body. Because if it was any other company making this this exact same character, they would have they would have put him on a bigger body with big muscles and big legs and whatever. So I will applaud Mesco for for doing something that not a lot, all the companies would because he is definitely the coolest like Rumble Society character that I can think of out of 
the top of my head. I have the first one. This, I guess this could, you could use this as a reverse dock knock since it's literally a reverse of the original. If you would like to like this review, black on the original. See you guys. Everyone black on here is on.